Multiplayer has been growing insanely fast for the past decade. Unity of course had its own set of tools and services for all Unity creators, which they referred to as Unit. And now they have just released a blog post that says Unit is going to be deprecated and replaced by something new. So in this video, we're going to check out more information on that and also see what could possibly take Unit's place. So let's go ahead and take a look. Hey guys, it's Sam here, and as someone who has been into multiplayer game development in Unity for a long time, as well as creating Unit tutorials on this channel, I thought this would have a massive hit on me, but also us as a community. So I've been able to dig up some valuable information for us all, and I wanted to share that with you. If you guys want to see more multiplayer related content on the channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to tune. And look, at any point during this video, make sure to check out the description box to see all of the resource links I've gathered my information from, a link to our Discord server, Patreon, and social media. Also, before beginning, I just want to give a quick shout out to all of our Patreons, including including Richard Stance, Cupola, Trombear MCP, and everyone else supporting the content and the channel. You guys are awesome. So let us now start by taking a look at the current toolkit in Unity that we use for multiplayer games. As I said in the intro, we have got something called Unit, which is basically a set of multiplayer tools and services that Unity has. Unit consists out of two major components. The first one being the core networking, which is referred to as high-level API and the low-level API, which you might have already heard of, and also enabling services, which includes Relay Server and Matchmaker. These features work together to enable peer-to-peer -peer multiplayer games. Until now, Unit has of course helped many and was a tremendous learning experience for everyone who used it. However, some parts of Unit didn't really work that well for a game engine as complex as Unity, and most of the feedback Unity received from Unit users was that the developers need more than what the current version of Unit can offer. For instance, they wanted more scalable and transparent core networking and fully supported server authoritative games that enable the security, stability, and consistent performance that is required for all levels of success. Now, luckily enough, Unity does listen to all of our feedback and wants to improve. However, improving the core networking infrastructure and multiplayer services in such a game engine is not an easy task. And therefore, Unity has performed a complete rethinking of the real-time multiplayer technology that is required, and they share their plans with us. First and foremost, they have a unit transition overview as a part of their initial blog post, which is also going to be in the description. This is what they say in there. Unit powers many active games today, and we take this responsibility very seriously. As a result, we are ensuring the following long-term support for developers who depend on our existing technology. And then they go on by adding, the high-level and low-level API will no longer ship with Unity after 2018.4. Critical fixes will be provided for two years following the 2018.4 ship date, consistent with Unity's long-term support policy. Now, if you don't know about the long-term policy, or LTS as it's also called, it's for users who wish to continue to develop and ship their games or content and stay on a stable version for an extended period of time. So LTS is basically a version of Unity and it does not have any of the new features, API changes or improvements. It's just basically there for you to keep using an old feature for a certain time if need be. Second part of this transition process is this. Relay Server and Legacy Matchmaker services will continue operation for at least three years following 2018.4 LTS ship date, with a clear transition plan provided before this date. If we keep on reading the blog post, you can see that Unity is also talking a little bit about their new and next generation networking features that are going to be made available soon and replace Unit. So the first part of their next generation multiplayer system is that they've got the game server hosting services which will replace the peer-to-peer -peer enabling relay server. Secondly, they have a new networking code which is going to replace existing unit high-level and low-level APIs. They've also said that the new networking layer is planned to be provided as a package with full source for debugging purposes. And this next part is absolutely massive. So they said that the early versions of this networking code will be ECS compatible. And that means we're having a multiplayer transition into the brand new entity component system as well. And last but not least, a new matchmaker system that works seamlessly with the game server hosting will 
also be made available soon. And then they also have this little timeline graphic which describes when these features are going to become available in comparison to when UNIT will stop working completely, including the LTS version. One more big step in this path to next generation multiplayer support Unity has partnered up with Google Cloud to bring us all connected games. So if you didn't know, at Unite Berlin, Unity announced a strategic alliance with Google Cloud. Together, they're going to build a suite of features that will help us create, run, and scale our connected games. In fact, let me know in the comments if you watch or were at Unite Berlin, and if you saw the keynote where they talked about this, along with all of the other features. I'm actually going to keep this part very short, but let's take a quick look at what this whole thing means. So, connected games is a term that applies to games that connect players to other players, as well as players to developers. So basically it means multiplayer and online games. So in its foundation, to make connected games or online games for that matter, you not only need network code, but you also need infrastructure like servers and load balancers, and also the specialized knowledge that is necessary to use that whole infrastructure. Now let's assume that you have the infrastructure ready, right? Then you need to support and operate it 24 seven with no downtimes, and it's just a lot to ask for, right? Because obviously a lot of people don't have this enough resources, it's just simply too much. So Unity says this in their official blog post. Through our alliance with Google Cloud, we can provide you enterprise-grade infrastructure that is globally available, highly reliable, and customizable for your game. You won't need to be a cloud expert to harness all that capability. We streamline your user experience by building and integrating features made first for the game creators. At Unite Berlin, we demonstrated how technology from Multiplay, a Unity company, was used to scale more than 60,000 game servers to support over a million players in minutes. And then they also say, by building a tight integration between Unity and Google Cloud, we aim to democratize connected games. From a robust global network that enables low latency player connectivity to worldwide synchronized databases, Unity developers will be able to take advantage of Google Cloud writing Unity without having to master the cloud. Now that's absolutely huge because obviously one of the things that Unity is leading at is the fact that you don't really have to exit Unity editor in order to do something for your game. You always were able to do something within the editor. And now if they really do implement Google Cloud into Unity, that's just going to be fantastic. And one user on the Unity forums asked a question about the price models for this new system. And he actually got a reply, which was from someone who works at Unity. And this is what he said in the reply. We recently announced our alliance with Google Cloud and dedicated servers in our stack will generally be hosted with them. The pricing model behind these virtual machines is publicly available and it's our goal to offer fair pricing to our developers. He also stated that the details aren't fully defined yet, so he can share more on that. But your best bet today is to estimate the cost using Google Cloud's calculators and the profile of your server code. In the meantime, we'll continue to focus on reducing the overhead of the headless server runtime to reduce the cost of servers, and the multiplayer-based orchestration tech will ensure servers are only running and consuming resources when your players need them. That is pretty much all we know about pricing so far, which is also an interesting question, obviously. I know that a lot of you guys might ask for it, but I assume there will be a much more clear information on that soon enough. Obviously, this is an absolute massive partnership between two enormous companies, and furthermore, they are really trying to bring multiplayer games democracy, as Unity states, and there's more information on this partnership, but I just don't want to bombard you with too much information. So I'm just going to leave all the resources and these blog posts in the description box of this video in case you want to dive a little bit deeper. And that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this helpful and enjoyed your time, make sure to drop a like on this video since it really supports me a lot. And also hit the subscribe button to stay up to tune for new content. And don't miss out on Unity news, tips and tricks, and more. And the question of the day is this. Are you currently working on any connected games? If so, let us know in the comment section and feel free to leave links to your game as well to gain a little bit of exposure. Now, I'm looking forward to hear your input on the deprecation of UNIT as well as the birth of the next generation multiplayer system and this whole Google Cloud and Unity partnership. Because don't forget that some of the most clever and valuable thoughts come from you, the community. With that being said, thank you guys once again for watching. I'm looking forward to see you in the comment section and in our Discord server. Have a good night, guys. Peace out.